All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about how do we put all of these plates together to make the three-dimensional color wheel. And at this point, before you say, all right, I'm ready to put them all together, you need to have the plates folded just like this. And you're gonna over and over go, th go over them and just make sure those creases are tight. And you can notice with all four of these how flat they are laying, okay? now. What we're going to do is we're going to match these up as close in the color wheel manner. That means we don't put green by red. We put green by blue green, okay? Or we put yellow by yellowish orange. Now, this is going to be the top and this is the bottom. So if I open this up like this, this is one fourth of my color wheel. Please put your hands below the tables. You got to have a bag of paper clips ready to go as well. And so what I'm going to do is grab my yellowish orange. I'm going to open it up also. And I'm going to attach these two, okay, yellow by yellow orange. So I'm going to go top and bottom will match up like this, okay? Top and bottom match up. So I'm going to take a paper clip and put it right in the middle of the bottom section and right in the middle of the top section, just like that. Now once I have done that, you'll notice there is like this V shape right here in the middle. We've got to keep that V shape, all right? And this is half of the color wheel. This is half of the color wheel. All right, so we'll leave that as is. We are now going to go to here. We've got green, and I already said green is going to go by blue-green. So I'm going to take this one, okay? Again, we've got top and bottom, and I'm going to match it up with the green. Again, notice that V shape right there. All right, so I'm gonna take a paper clip and I'm gonna put it in the middle section right here and the middle section on the top right here. Now, paper clips do not need to be bent. You just barely put a little pressure and just slide it in just like that. All right, now I have three-fourths of the color wheel put together. So I am now going to take, I've got purple, excuse me, that is blue-violet, not purple, that's blue-violet, and I am going to put blue-violet by violet. So I'm gonna open this one up, okay? The only reason I want it flat is just to make sure I got all my fold really tight, but now I'm gonna open it up, and I'm gonna put this one, I'm gonna attach it with paper clips in the top middle, bottom middle, just like this. All right, so I gotta grab some more paper clips. Whew, that was too many. That's okay. All right, so I'm going to go from here to here. And we'll attach it right here. Okay, now, this is all of the plates attached, but it is not a ball yet because we have this flat side. This is the trickiest part. This is where you are either going to get help from someone or possibly me, but don't, don't freak out because you could actually do this on your own, all right? It's a little bit of patience, and this is where we find out if you really have the tight folds. If you remember the other day, I talked to most of you, I, I believe I told you that we're using paper plates because they're strong and they're sturdy, but they're also flexible. So at this point, I'm gonna take this, and I'm just gonna kinda gently pinch it. You notice I'm not going boom, and just all at once. I'm actually kinda moving the paper clips while I gently pinch it together and that happens. One of these just came off, okay? I'm not gonna claim hers as not folded tight yet. But if this happens over and over, sometimes we do have to take the paper clips off and say, okay, gotta refold them. So we'll try this one more time. All right, and the reason we use the paper clips is because we do want this to move. We don't staple it right away because we need to be able to kind of flex it a little bit. See how I'm bringing these together? Just gently moving the paper clips until, voila, we have it together like that. All right, now she has the three-dimensional ball shape, and they're all in the correct order. So far, so good, right? All right, so when you get to this point, then what we have to do is we have to staple.